I had this question recently from a morning show. They said, how can we find the pulse of the listener and know what they're actually interested in so we're talking about the right things? And I told them that you kind of have it backwards. You're looking for what's relevant, what they're interested in, but you should be on a constant search to be less perfect and more relatable. And being relatable is what's going to cause them to respond. So change the focus. Don't worry about being relevant. Of course, you need to understand the audience's mindset. You need to know their likes and their tastes and their interests and their worldview and what works for them and what doesn't work for them. That comes through developing your target audience persona. But don't base your content choices only on finding out what's important to them. The goal should be to connect with them personally by relating to them on a personal warm level. Because when you make personal connections, it doesn't really matter what you're talking about. It's about how you talk about it and how you relate to listeners through emotional connections that you make with them. That's the difference between being relevant and being relatable. Relevant is talking about things I'm interested in. Relatable is talking about it in a way that I find interesting. Which one's more important, do you think? Well, both are good, obviously. I would love it if you were highly relevant and highly relatable. But if you have to make a choice and if you have to compromise one for the other, I'd rather have you be slightly more relatable than relevant. Because if you're an interesting storyteller and you're creating relatable uh, performances, then relevant content takes a back seat to the relatability. Invest your time in prep and planning to find ways to make deeper connections and it'll work for your audience in the long term. And that's your two-minute drill.